children i hope that you are doing wonderful so yes i saw a few of you commenting that please ma'am do a video for biotechnology engineering or biotech engineering so i thought why not we should be definitely doing that so let's see i'll telling you what do you mean by biotechnology engineering first thing it is an interdisciplinary field now when i say interdisciplinary field there is something that gets stuck over here so that something is it's not like children who have an interest in bio have to get into biotechnology field or children who have a biology background could only get into biotechnology field the hard truth is that children who have pcm background that is physics chemistry math are the children who can get easily into biotechnology engineering there are only few colleges which allow children with pcb background to get into this particular course okay why because you won't be studying just about biology biology is there for sure but there will be so many other things as well for example there will be a mix of chemistry it will be a mix of physics and math and computational technologies because at the end you are going to develop something you are going to develop technologies and products that could benefit the society and when you are talking about benefiting society obviously it's a large scale thing it's not something that is related just to biology there is obviously a need to uh, think with all think in all directions right so obviously it's an interdisciplinary field which has everything as i said pcm is mostly preferred for this particular engineering course but there are few colleges which would let you in with pcb as well but very few going ahead what will this branch offer okay if you are thinking of studying this particular branch in future or in present what is this particular branch offering first thing modifying the genetic material of organisms to enhance or introduce desired traits so this is something that they offer what is this something it is very complicated for you to understand i'll make it easy so basically there is an organism and you're wanting it to make something that you want it's not something that the organism actually makes for example i want the organism to make insulin because insulin is something that will help uh, what say fight diabetes right so this point of time i am messing up with its genes now who am i i am an engineer biotech engineer who is going to do genetic engineering i am going to mess up with the genes and produce certain things which could help me what kind of sort of things such as i'll be using bacteria or yeast to produce materials chemicals or pharmaceuticals that could be important now obviously this is done in legal basis not in an, on an illegal basis please remember that now apart from that this branch will also offer job opportunities for people who want to develop new medical devices as well as biopharmaceuticals because you know diseases are never ending we have so many diseases right every now and then something pops up so obviously we need medical devices as well and who will take care of all this a person who is doing biotech engineering because he or she is also knowing about the diseases as well as how to tackle how to bring in uh, what say how to find the diseases as well with the amount of knowledge that they are gaining during the entire 4 years of course yes apart from that a person who particularly studied this thing can also have knowledge about utilizing biological processes for environmental applications so for example we know that the waste is always there around us right even though we are coming from swachh bharat uh, abhiyan and all but some of us still throw waste which is really bad we should not be throwing but yes obviously we cannot correct everyone right so what do we need to have we need to have certain techniques okay certain application certain devices again which could find a solution for this waste treatment as well as management so who do that basically again biotech engineers could help in doing this thing yeah apart from this you know that uh, our farmers are relying on the plants that they are and we are also relying on the farmers right so basically over here we need to improve the crop yield the amount of crop that is being produced uh, the produce should be very much right so over here what is the common thing that they face that is pest organism that goes and eats eat the uh, particular plant and kills it right so there should be pest control there could be there should be something that uh, new type of plants probably that could resist any sort of pathogen coming and eating it so all this thing you might have heard about bt cotton it's biotechnologically modified cotton so this particular plant is resistant to certain type of uh, what's your organism which comes and eats it so this particular organism which comes and eats it says aha i don't know like the taste i won't be eating it further so all this thing okay this is just a funny way that i am explaining it to you but obviously it involves a lots of brain and also a in depth knowledge about biology 
and the other what say subjects as well okay so which has to be worked together parallelly so all this thing is what this particular branch can offer well apart from this also there are a lot of other things but yes over here the core subjects and curriculum that you need need to study so before making this video i spoke to a friend of mine who did btech uh, biotech engineering from iit okay so i asked what do they what do you usually study so they said well she said that is in the first year it's all about most of the engineering courses have some things in common okay all of them probably might have some things in common and these are things that could be in common mathematics physics that is engineering physics or chemistry engineering chemistry or you will be always introduced to the subject that you are going to study study that is biotechnology uh, biology for engineering uh, engineering mechanics all of these things will be there now the second year it will be more uh, what say inclined towards biology okay so that is what i exactly found as well in the second year it is biochemistry microbiology cell biology genetics the fundamentals of environmental engineering and the thermodynamics so all of this thing which is more or less related to biology itself pure biology that will be there in the second year now the third year is where you will be having certain lab techniques you will be using certain instrument you will be getting to know about instruments you will be having knowledge about biostatistics which could include more of math rather than biology okay so it's a what say a mix of biology and mathematics and other subjects as well so over here if you want to take a screenshot you can definitely take a screenshot of this as well and on the fourth year again you will be having something related to uh, what say environmental thing right something related to what you can possibly do in future something that could get you a job and also it will include a project work as well as internship where you might have to give a research paper as well you might have to do your own research if it is a very good college they will promote more research as well as internship activities as well yeah so this is all about the core subjects as well as the curriculum and as i said over here even if you read it if you are not someone from biology background you might get certain things that it's obviously a mix of lot of subjects but definitely you have a quite a little bit of inclination to biology which if you are not of biology background will also be taught to you during the entire four course four years that you have yeah so that is all about that now the job roles that you could attain you could get first thing biomedical engineer who is a biomedical engineer the one that develops and maintains the medical equipments ranging from diagnostic tools to prosthetics prosthetics as in you might have heard, seen that people who have lost their arms or legs they make a prosthetic leg and arm and they use it okay so all these things are made by bio biomedical engineer so you could be a biomedical engineer as well but obviously when i say all this thing it's not like once you passed out of btec you are getting all these jobs no okay no that's not the case we are talking about reality and reality does not work like that unless and until you are getting quite lucky in there okay so there are certain things there are certain uh, cons as well of choosing the subject i'll get to uh, uh, tell about that as well but i am telling you these are the possibilities or probably the chances that you could get if you uh, what say uh, participate in this particular course that you are seeing second thing is pharmaceutical analyst where they ensure the quality and the safety of drugs and medical products so we knew, we know that during the covid times at this point of time until then india was not very well developed about uh, it was developed but the usage of biotechnological mechanisms was quite comparatively lesser now when the covid hit that that uh, and that particular point of time there came the use of vaccines and certain things like that at this particular point of time the people who were from this particular field obviously saw a quick growth okay so you never know what could come again so obviously this time the country and the world will be more prepared and that is why they are more progressing towards what all this field that you're seeing over here now we have food technologists as well so it integrates biotechnology to enhance the food quality safety and nutrition value of the food and now if you talk about environmental consultant as i said biotechnology can be used for conservation for uh, pollution control and lot of things they can bring about new new things with the help of genetic engineering and other mechanisms other devices and stuff so that is all about that now agriculture biotechnologies again you want to make a disease resistant plant you want to enhance the soil quality okay there will be something probably the natural soil that you're using now could be replaced by something else as well in near future if you do not have enough amount of soil at that particular place 
So all these things are could be made up with the help of what agricultural biotechnologist. Medical writer, they can also become medical writer because these are the ones obviously who have very good understanding about biotechnology as well as biological fields, right? So trans they are the ones that translate complex medical and scientific information into easily understandable and accurate content. So as I said, I am repeating again and again, these are the possibilities. The possibilities could be more as well, yeah? And the possibilities could be less as well. So you have to choose and what what will make you choose, I'll tell you later on, yeah? We had the career opportunities as I told about job roles. I'm also going to tell in what type of place you could get a job, okay? So first is industries. What type of industries? As we just heard, pharmaceutical, healthcare and medical device industry, food and safety industry, waste management and environment and conservation industry. Apart from that, you can also go into academics. What do you mean by academics? Probably after doing your BTEC, you can go for PhD. Yeah. And after doing your PhD, you can come for lectureships and research. Research pays you really well and lectureship also pays you really well. Now comes the thing that I wanted to tell you from the starting of the video. So in India, if you're asking me, what is, a, what is the growth of biotechnology? It could be limited. But outside India, this particular field is developing and it is developing really good. Okay, so the people whom I spoke to also said the same thing. That is, basically, if you move out of India, you could find more job roles and stuff like that. So what could you do from your end? If you know a person who has studied biotechnology, call them and ask them. It's not one or two people. Call 10 people who have studied and ask them that how was it? Do, does, do they have good placement? Because in whatever colleges I went through, okay, in whatever colleges I went through, the number, the rates that I saw for the placement was quite less. For example, if there are 60 states, only 18 of them got placed and we never know what is the package for these 18 people because no one will never show. If it is if it is low, obviously will no, they will never show the package that was offered as well. And if it is high, they will probably show it. So I could not see that thing. So which is why I'll again say just and it's not just about that. It's also about choosing the college, right college. So you might have one college which is topping the list of colleges for other courses, but for not this course. So again, you have to call your people who are studying in this college and ask, is this college actually good for biotech as well? Do they promote research? Go for colleges that promotes research, at least that. Okay, that is something that you can ask for. Okay, go for colleges that promotes research. How we can find that? Go to their official website and see what all researchers have they done. Or you can see the faculty profile and talk to them as well. Ma'am, will it be good? You can have a talk. You never know, right, what comes up. So apart from this, after uh, apart from getting into industries, apart from getting into academics, okay, what is the next step that we have? Probably we can include introduce our own startups because now it's the time for an entrepreneurship, right? People are making their own things. So obviously you have also got a chance, chance to do that as well. If you are sure that you can probably do it, right? So this is the actual genuine feedback that I have, I'm giving you. Now, if you talk about the top colleges, Karnataka where B, uh, B.Tech, Biotech, Engineering was there. These are the set of colleges that you're having. And this was the cutoff that was there for the previous year. Okay, so I put the college code as well. And this is a set of cutoff. You can obviously refer to this and go arrange your order of preferences and stuff like that. But again, as I'm telling you, please give a call to the children who are already studying there and ask them. Do they have good placements or not? Okay. Now, is biotechnology engineering right for you? As I said, and as my friend also said, okay. Interest for innovation. If you have genuine interest for innovation, and if you're not tired of the duration, which could give you like a defined duration, if you want that within four years, I want a job, then obviously it might be a bit tough for you to adjust in this particular field. Four years may give you a job. Four years does not guarantee you a job, but so that thing you need to know. So if you have an interest for this subject, if you're try, you are trying to innovate and make something new, then probably you can get into this course. Second thing, you're an ardent practitioner. You're not, you're not aware, uh, afraid of failing. You're, you're wanting to do something in your life, then probably definitely you will be getting into, you should be getting into this particular field. Next thing, patience for results. So obviously, since when you, whenever you talk about bio field, 
it needs patience because you cannot see for example i am giving a test on some organism which has a lifespan of like um now a year i have to wait for an year to show, um, see things in that particular organism so at this point of time i need patience so if you are a person who want to go into research and stuff like that in biotechnology engineering you need patience for that as well so if you qualify all this thing probably you can get into this field if you're not qualifying in any of these criteria please do not think that ma'am demotivated you know ma'am did not demotivate you i am telling you it's a very growing field but again india is a country where it is still developing in the development stage in the bud stage but it is really good to practice so what you can do is ask to your fellow children that is one thing second thing you can ask to the people who are working in pharmaceutical industry can they provide a job in uh, uh, to a person who is from biotechnological field if they are saying that okay they will be providing probably there are high chances that you could also get it later on in life yeah but if it is out of india it is more than better okay because it all probably can do beat up from here and move out of india and practice more of the other things as well and come back to india because india is our country right so yes we need to show the what's a positive side as well right so that's all about biotechnology engineering i think it was useful i tried to be genuine as much as i could yeah so if you think that this particular video was useful or in what was of any help do not forget to subscribe to the channel we will meet you again in the next video until then keep smiling bye bye take care